Not we know. I think the eyes have it. The eyes have it. The clerk will read the next item of business. Notice of motion, General Business Number 85, Light Rail Ticketing Integration. I call the member for Balmain. Thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. I move that this House 1 notes that the extension of light rail will provide improved transport options for thousands of inner west residents. Two, calls on the government to integrate light rail into the public transport ticketing system. And three, calls on the government to arrange for concession card holders to travel on the light rail at a concession rate. Mr Deputy Speaker, my community, local businesses, councils and residents campaigned for over 10 years to extend the light rail and to see the integration of fares for the inner west light rail within the public transport system. I was delighted, Mr Deputy Speaker, when the government responded to calls for integration last year, as well as arranging for concession card holders to travel on the light rail at a concession rate. These changes have made light rail a more viable transport option for the residents in my electorate. In particular, concession card holders, pensioners in particular, who had been excluded from obtaining concessional fares on the light rail network. I welcome the government's purchase of the light rail network as a victory for the local community and an opportunity for more efficient, integrated public transport ticketing. The Greens, alongside the local community, had campaigned long and hard to bring the light rail network back into public hands. We believe that the public sector can best deliver this system, and I'm delighted that the government has purchased the light rail and the monorail system. <clears throat> I acknowledge the work of the Minister in this regard, taking forward these positive steps. The light rail passes through my electorate, Mr Deputy Speaker, and as a result of these changes, it has been better utilised by residents. Having taken ownership of the light rail network, the government now needs to take steps to fully integrate ticketing with a broader transport network. I wanted to note to the House that the limited MyZone ticketing was introduced for light rail services in June 2011. There are approximately 127,000 recorded boardings made on light rail using MyZone ticket in the first month. Total patronage, which includes MyZone and light rail tickets in July 2011, was about 25% higher than the same time in the previous year, demonstrating the important role of even this limited integrated ticketing. A fully integrated ticket system, including concession fares, would greatly increase the use of the light rail system. I note the government's commitment to introduce the Opal system. We know about the disgraceful waste of money under the former government, 100 plus million on the wasted T-card system, a terrible waste of government funds. In particular, we know that under Labor, it took 16 years for them not to develop that system, despite committing themselves to have this system in place by the Olympic Games 12 years ago. I understand the smart card travel will be available on the Sydney Ferries network first, and then the City Rail network, and then on government and private bus networks. I look forward to the government, and I, uh, I seek the government's uh, update on the preparations for the installation of this new system. And let's hope that this government doesn't have the same problems that the last government has in terms of implementing that system. The government's purchase of the light rail network should pave the way for the speedy extension of the light rail from Lilyfield to Dulwich Hill and the construction of the Greenway alongside the light rail. The government has an opportunity to deliver this system which Labor failed to deliver in my community. As I'm sure many of this House are aware, we were very disappointed when this government took office announced an almost two year delay in the construction of the light rail and the abandoning of the Greenway system. But I joined local mayors, MPs and friends of the Greenway Community Group and others to present the 10,000 signature petition on the steps of parliament on 31st of May uh, 2012. Uh, it's the steps, of parliament in New South, uh, the steps of parliament in 2012. The Greenway is an important aspect of the broader integrated transport network and after over a decade of campaigning it's time for this government to deliver. I want to congratulate all of the dedicated supporters who have been involved in this campaign, particularly friends of the Greenway. The Greenway provides an integrated active transport link which will enhance the effectiveness of the right rail. The Minister for Transport should support this project as a vital opportunity to encourage active transport and engagement with this light rail system. This includes an integrated pedestrian way and cycleway. Over 22 schools are involved in this project and they have been very disappointed that the government is refusing to, to fund this. It was in its first budget that the Liberal government announced the delay for the light rail, signalling a very significant setback. Now, there's been also, should be noted, very strong community support for the extension of the existing light rail from Lilyfield to Dulwich Hill, and we have seen transport experts backing this proposal. I look forward to the government updating the House on the timeline for, for the light rail extension to Dulwich Hill. When the government took office, we were told there would be an almost two-year delay, and it wouldn't, in fact, be opened in 2012, but we would expect the opening in the first quarter of 2014. 
the purchase of the light rail system by the government was said to have improved the opportunities uh, and the speed at which the government could implement the light rail extension, and we hope the government follows through on that and indicates its possibility in the future. One point I would like to make is on student concession cards. There's two high schools in my electorate, St Scholastica's and Sydney Secondary College. Uh, I wanted to talk briefly about Sydney Secondary College, which is a good example of a public high school in my electorate with junior campuses at Balmain and Leichhardt and a senior campus at Glebe. Now, it's madness that students are required to commute across the electorate to attend their local state high school, and for many of these students, light rail is the best option. Yet, they need to take buses because the concession, the student concession, cannot be used on the light rail network. I've been campaigning to ensure that those students have the same access to light rail system as they currently do with public buses for travel between home and school. It makes sense and the government should allow it. Getting students off buses onto light rail will reduce morning and afternoon congestion on roads, which will help reduce travel times, improve, improve air quality and also improve the opportunities for business with reliability for their staff to get to work and those people not requiring to take uh, the uh, the, the roads will also free up opportunities for those people that require taking the roads. Um, Mr Temporary Speaker, in conclusion, it's also important to note in my motion that the government has committed to feasibility studies to extend the light rail in the CBD with Central to Circular Quay, uh, to also look at from Central to the University of New South Wales, from Central Railway Station to Sydney University. Uh, I look forward to the government updating the House on these important steps forward that need to be taken and these feasibility studies need to be expedited to make sure that the light rail network can be truly an integrated light rail network, both in terms of ticketing but also in terms of the trip opportunities that are able to be taken by residents and commuters. Uh, it's important also to note in conclusion, Mr. Deputy, Mr Temporary Speaker, that the issues about the use of concessions, as I've raised in this House before, in a question to the Minister for Transport, about uh, job seekers being able to get access to my multi-tickets uh, is also a very important point in this debate. So I commend the motion to the House and I look forward to a discussion on this motion today. The question is that the 